Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout and Interpreter and Country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Hi. She's doing a great job running that camera back there as usual. I went to Bass Pro Shop and I bought me a Masterbuilt Slow Smoker. What that is, is just an attachment for my regular smoker outside. Now the smoker I got outside where I smoke salmon and do all that stuff, I got to kind of lie to the element and turn it up like on 275 until it really starts generating smoke and then I turn it back down to the 120, 160 and 175 degree settings to smoke my salmon but then the smoke doesn't continue because the element down at the bottom doesn't get that hot. So they make this neat little unit that mounts on the side of the smoker. You can probably see it on the box here. Your smoker sits here and this tube goes in where I put in those pellets and turn them over. But not only does that require a lot of heat to smoke, but it only puts a little dab in there and you have to open the door to clean the tray out because when you go to put more in, it piles on top the ashes of the previous little batch. So they make this little tower that goes inside of here where you can put your chips in there. This little rack on the bottom keeps the chips from falling down through the bottom and then that sits inside of this unit and down to the bottom of this because this is also electrical. It has a little element that heats this box and once it gets full you can pull this tray out and all the ashes that fall through the bottom of that little screen fall on that little ash tray. And then the heat stays in here but the smoke comes up and goes over and goes into the main smoker. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to smoke some cheese. Well, all right, let's get started with our smoked cheese. And I can tell you, if you have successes and failures when you're cooking, that's a good thing because your failures teach you how to be more successful in your other recipes. I know because years ago I tried doing smoked cheese. Here's what happened. I did two things wrong. One, even though I used one of them little pellet things to burn, it still got too hot in the smoker and one or two pieces of cheese melted. Second of all, I smoked it too long. I think I smoked it for like four to six hours or something and I had to cut the outside off of each block of cheese to get down to where the flavor was just right. Today I'm only going to smoke it for an hour. If you're a first timer out there, don't smoke it over two hours or it's going to end up too smoky and you'll have to do what I did, cut the outside off the cheese block so you can get down to where it tastes good. So I got to thinking, if my master built smoker is insulated enough to keep heat in, shouldn't it also work like a beer cooler and keep cold in? So I took three trays of ice, this one and these two, and I stacked it on the bottom three levels because I only thought I was going to use the top one today, but I'm going to use the top two. And it was 95 degrees here in Nashville, Tennessee. I even had to cover the outside of the smoker with a white cloth so the sun wouldn't beat down on the black part of it. And it pulled the inside of that smoker down to 68 degrees. So that ought to be perfect to smoke cheese. But I thought, wait a minute, I haven't turned the unit on yet. So I filled it with pellets, turned it on, and I let it sit out there and cook for two hours with smoke just filling the inside of it, and it never got over 68 degrees. Now my smoker only has four levels of racks in there. So because I'm going to use two racks to smoke cheese, I only have two for my ice. But I'm going to cheat before I even put this cheese in that smoker. I'm going to put this tray on the bottom full of ice. I'm going to go up to the next level and put this tray full of ice. Then I'm just going to fill this tray full of ice and sit it on top of the ice in the tray below until it chills the inside of that box down there. And I'll show you what the temperatures are. Then we're just going to get this tray out of the way and leave the other two in there. Turn the smoker on slide the cheese in and when it fills with smoke I'm going to go from that time and go one hour and then I'm going to pull these out. About 30 minutes in I might take the top shelf of cheese and move it down and put the second shelf up on the top just to rotate them. But come on over here and let me show you what I'm going to put in the smoker to begin with. Well I wrote down a little cheat sheet here so I'd know exactly where the cheeses were so when it came out I wouldn't confuse say the marbled cheeses that kind of thing. I got some sharp cheddar over here, I got some marbled cheddar over here, some Kobe Jack marbled as well and some Swiss. Of course you can see all my little pans full of almonds because I want to make some smoked almonds at the same time. All four of these are pepper jack cheese and the four on the bottom are my Herman Munsters. This is Munster cheese. Now when you buy it at the store this comes in a block just like that but I thought instead of smoking a whole block I'm only going to eat about this much in a setting so I'll cut it in half 
That way the smoke can get to these two ends and I'll still put them right next to each other. This little guy in the middle here is Gouda cheese and I bought it thinking it was a block and I got it home and it was already pre-sliced. So with my little scientific brain I put a bunch of toothpicks together in the middle and I put some in the outside and I turned it into a little block of cheese. So I'm still going to get that Gouda smoked whether it likes it or not. Well, let's go out and put the ice in the smoker and see what we can chill it down to and get the smoking box working. I gotta tell you, today is only 78 degrees in Nashville, Tennessee, but I just turned the smoker on before I put the ice in and it was 103 degrees in this box. It's already 96. There's our tray of ice, there's another tray of ice, and there's a third tray. When this gets down to the temperature I want, I'll pull the top tray, then I'll put in two racks of them cheeses, and man, we'll be ready to go. I gotta tell you about this little, they call this a slow smoker when you buy them at Bass Pro on the box. But everybody buys them and calls them a cold smoker, even though it never says that, it does the purpose of a cold smoker. This little hook that I got actually goes in here, and I don't have it turned on yet because I want to chill this box down. This goes inside and hooks in that hole, then it goes in here and then you got to get down in here and put the wing nut on. And I got to thinking, if I just level the feet on that, it slides right in. And the other day when I cooked it for two hours to see what the temperature would be, all the smoke went right in there, so you don't, you don't really need to mess with this. And then when you want to go back to putting the tube in, you can do it by just scooting that out of the way. So as we're getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and fill this tower with my little pellets. And I've got cherry wood and apple wood in here. That's plenty for an hour. Probably way more than plenty. I cleaned that tube out, the grate at the bottom. I cleaned out the little ashtray so it's ready to go. And I'm going to turn it on here, put our little lid on. And I have heard people say that if the smoke starts to slow down an hour or so into your cooking process, if you'll just lift this lid up and open this up and let a little air down in there for a minute or two, then put it back. Man, it'll go right back to kicking out smoke again. So hopefully that's a tip that works for you. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to turn it back on here in about 10 or 15 minutes and let you know uh, exactly what the temperature is inside that smoker. And I will say this, the other day when it was 96 degrees out and I smoked for two hours and it was filled with smoke, those ice trays never even began to, to melt inside there. So it works just perfect. All right, see you in about 10 or 15 minutes. Well, all right, it's been a total of 15 minutes since I put the ice in there and only 10 minutes since I turned the camera off. Wow, it's down to 68 degrees inside there. Four degrees less than an average household, so you know the cheese ain't going to melt at 68 degrees. And I'm going to go get it, put it in there and turn the smoker on, and I'm going to give you an update as it smokes to see how high the temperature gets. And I'm really kind of curious how low the temperature will drop if I just left it for a little longer because it was 68 the other day when it was 96 degrees outside. Now it's only 78 degrees. So you don't have to wait till fall time to do smoked cheese. Just And you know, and ice is cheap. We got a big ice maker in the refrigerator. Man, it does a huge tray full of ice every day and a half to two days. And a bag of ice is like, what, two bucks, three bucks or something down at the gas station? Man, fill your smoker with ice, still 68 degrees, but I'll bet you it drops to 67 before, there it is, it just clicked to 67 degrees. Time to go get the cheese and put it in there and then we'll do an update. Left the bottom tray of ice in, the middle tray of ice, and the tray that was stacked on top, I just laid it on top of the smoker because it's nice and cold up there too now. And let me give you a quick peek. There's my two trays of cheese in there. Go ahead and turn the smoker on okay and we're gonna give you a report when it starts filling with smoke I'm gonna tell you what the temperature is I'll see you in about five minutes because this thing don't take long to start putting smoke out man it's only been about four minutes and this thing is already putting out smoke around the seam and under the lid right there look at that Lord I'm not gonna open the door on the smoker but let me take a peek It's down to 70 degrees 
it dropped two degrees even though I took out a tray of ice and put in two trays of room temperature cheese and racks and turned the smoker on it dropped two degrees so I couldn't be happier that's like smoking cheese in your house at 70 degrees it's perfect man you don't have to wait till fall to smoke cheese I'm gonna check on this again in about 30 minutes and I'm not gonna smoke it more than an hour and we'll give you a report then man I couldn't be happier with this little unit right here I love that thing well it's been one hour it chilled clear down to 69 degrees then the Sun came out and you can see it bearing down on the side of this black panel right here which is kind of warm from the Sun it's cool on top from the ice pan up here and it did go back up to 72 degrees but I could live with that so put your smoker in the shade I don't care if it's 90 it will chill down especially if you're doing three trays of ice and one tray of cheese at a time you can do it all summer long let's take a peek in here oh yeah I gotta tell you I did a little snooping around earlier but you got some nice smoke going in there it's been in there for one hour I think it's time to bring it in the house and do a little taste test and take a look at it we are fresh back from the smoker and I gotta tell you this stuff is actually cool to the touch but boy you can smell it it has all the smoke that I want if you bring your cheese in like the batch I did I don't know I guess a few years back and it's brown you have over smoked it I notice there's only three up here one's missing you know why because look at this I made a nice little gift for somebody with my little vac master chamber machine these bags are only two cents a piece plus when you vacuum pack it the smoke that's on there stays within the cheese and even penetrates the cheese even better like this right here look what Sheila did over at the vac master machine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen of them at two cents a piece wow that costs us 28 cents to vacuum seal all this do that with food saver bags and tell me how much it costs and we even got a little sample pack here for our boss over there at the theater where we work she's gonna love all this smoked cheese and we even vacuum packed the almonds great job Sheila let's get back to the video during the time Sheila moved the camera from up here to back there I sliced off another piece had one of these almonds and they're just sweet and delicious with that smoke flavor but this is really terrific at one hour I might experiment with a single tray three trays of ice and go an hour and a half then I might go two hours and I might find where that level is but I don't think you should smoke over two hours and I love it at just an hour this stuff smells so terrific Wow <laughs> turn some cheap cheese into expensive smoked cheese with your smoker get that little box that pokes onto the side of that master built smoker put some cold smoke in there put in a couple three trays of ice it never got over 72 degrees out there even as warm as it is when the sun was bearing down on it perfect here's our little subscribe button over here shotgun reds face if it hasn't popped up it will soon and over here is that recipe that I promised you a little bit earlier is this the best smoked cheese that you can make in a master built smoker on a hot day in Nashville Tennessee if it ain't it ought to be actually absolutely what do you think Sheila I think it's really really good it's it's awesome she had a little nibble of it over here too we'll see you next time right here on cooking with shotgun red how about cold smoking with shotgun red bye bye <laughs>